In this video, I'm going to share with you that the Singapore Airlines SQ494 from Singapore to Dubai in uh, A380 economy class flight experience. So I'm going to share with you that what you can expect uh, for this flight, where to check in, um, the food, the seat, and the experience. So when you come to uh, Changi Airport Terminal 3, you can go to row number 4 for check-in. For the GO members, you have to check in at the row number 7. So number 7 is right over here. And uh, let's see if I can get upgrade over here. Because that last time Sean was a silver member and he got an upgrade. So let's go uh, this way to check in. You may also help yourself to a self check in over here, or if you are a gold member, you can always come over here to a check in with the assistant by the staff. That's uh, automatically drop your bag if you don't wish to have anyone like to contact and then to check with you. But I would love to try to check in right over here. Check in is super fast. Um, got the priority baggage handling as the gold members, and I'm going to the gold lounge. I have about five glasses of white wine and uh, it's time for the boarding room open and um, my gate is B1 You'll be right over here, everyone is like, rushing in now So I think I will go to the washroom first then I'll go in because it's quite busy right over here Then I'll show you how its inside looks like At this uh, deep boarding gate, there is a baby care room so with a diaper changing and the hot water facility Drinking water, then the washroom And uh, I remember at the middle there, you can actually purchase some snack But it seems like it's no longer offered that service So it's actually shared with four different of the boarding gate so make sure you come early uh, for the security screening. It takes some time, but um, still manageable for me. Yeah. So my boarding gate will be right over there. Boarding is very smooth. Um, economy and uh, premium economy will be bought on the other types of the arrow bridge. So this way, and uh, I can see that at the front that before you uh, enter the aircraft, you actually can uh, take the earphone plug, I guess so let me see what is that and then I can share with you okay so I can see that is the uh, earplug for economy so I can just take one and I can show you how it looks like later okay so that's right over here for boarding 42k thank you so much thank you 42k so thank you so here is my seat so let's take a seat over here and i'm gonna share with you what you can expect in a short while let me show you the seat so this is that like, there's a headrest you can adjust like this you also can adjust the height okay then a blanket is standby right over here for you armrest you can lift up and lift down and uh, so TV is like this, there is a USB port over here, audio jack, uh, so remember that when you go inside, enter the aircraft, there's this one, so this two audio jack is for you to plug in, and then this is for you to put a small device, cup holder, here's a tray, tray looks like this, you can adjust up and uh, flip up, and also there's a mirror for you, very wonderful and then a uh, sick bag and uh, emergency card small little pocket two medium pocket and I can see that uh, right over here at the front there is one uh, universal power plug so overall the seat here is quite comfortable I'm going to settle down and I'm going to show you more maybe the washroom the in-flight meal and then whatever I can show you after takeoff and then um, the cabin crews are quite busy now so I can recline my seat now it is actually quite a comfortable uh, gap for you to recline and the position is quite comfortable to enjoy the movie like this so the next thing I'm going to show you is that what I can order and then uh, 
washroom, the food, and the arrival. Today we can choose for the noodle or the big fish. I choose for the noodle with the chicken. It looks safer to me. I'm not. I usually don't order fish in a, in the flight, and I also can uh, order for the white wine. There is a uh, milk, the, the alcohol white butter and a bun for me so I think it should be fine and then the dessert will be ice cream so let me give you a try see whether it tastes good or not I'm going to try with the noodle first so the noodle is like coated with uh, some gravy mm. average <laughs> let me try the chicken so I can taste some shallot and some spring onion the chicken is good but if um, we come with the white rice with the chicken it will be perfect let me try the white wine mm. it's not bad um, can pair the meal quite well so I'm going to enjoy the um, late lunch and then watch the movie then dessert then I'll show you the washroom it's time for ice cream so uh, they are serving the others ice cream which is a Singapore brand Singapore meat and I got the dark chocolate I remember that my friend told me that uh, she had a melted chocolate so check before you open the lid because that, uh, it might have a pressure and then pop up the melted uh, chocolate it might stain on your clothes uh, this one that I'm having uh, is quite hard if you are a Chris Flyer member you actually can log into your membership and then you can get a 2 hour chat and uh, before going to the washroom I ordered the Singapore sling let me give you a try This one tastes much more better than what you can get in a Raffles Hotel in Singapore. For those that they are the original recipe created by them, but um, this one tastes better. If I am not wrong, there is a uh, what they call uh, at, at the galley, you can go grab some uh, snack. If uh, there's a snack display at the galley, then I'll show you how you can go to the galley and get a snack. Most of the passengers already fall asleep. It's another three hours more to uh, arrive to Dubai. I recline my seat to the maximum. Don't judge me. It's very comfortable and uh, very quiet. So uh, I think that it is actually not too bad to uh, fly in economy. It's been a long time. I have not tried economy for a long flight. <laughs> Don't judge me again. Uh, but honestly, I will recommend to take the economy class from Singapore Airlines to Dubai or maybe another longer flight because that for this uh, plane A350-900 the economy class is very comfortable I have a very very relaxed uh, position now so I'm waiting I'm going to have a quick nap and then I'm going to have a refreshment old chunky curry puff and I will be prepare for arrival then I'll share with you the arrival hall maybe uh, the baggage claim and the tips of this flight okay let me have a nap now
two more hours to land in Dubai. Uh, they are serving the refreshment. This is the mushroom curry puff, and then also oh, this is a mushroom curry puff, and then this is a chicken curry puff. So uh, I asked for the mushroom, and I'm like greedy. Then if I if you want to have more of the curry puff, you can actually check with the crew, and then if they have any extra of the uh, puff. Then they'll give it to you. So I'm very lucky that uh, I got two of this. So I'm gonna give you a try to let you know that whether this one tastes better on the sky or it tastes better on the ground. I would love to try the chicken uh, puff first. So you have to get the puff from the side, and it's huge. Oh, it have two. Oh my god, I think I cannot finish. I thought it's only one puff. <laughs> I'm gonna have four puff. Oh. I've been too greedy. I should just uh, take one first and I'm not enough that I ask for extra. equally good and then uh, but I will say that I think because of the way that they heat up and it put inside the box it's a little bit soggy now but the taste is still really good I quite like it I have to finish four of the puff now just uh, a light from the aircraft very comfortable right and then uh, everyone like uh, a light in order so now I'm going to show you the place to clean the baggage and uh, along the way walk to the baggage claim area seems good so yeah let's continue to see what i can share with you i can see that uh, from the plane to the washroom is a little bit of distance so in case of you that are going to uh, release your urine or poo poo i would strongly recommend you to uh, do it in the aircraft before landing i can see that i need to take the train to the immigrations and the baggage claim so let me rush out a little bit okay the train looks good and baggage please watch your step as you exit the train okay so here is a train looks like we have to uh, alight now to collect our baggage clean it seems like a long walk it took about three minutes so far it took about 30 minutes from the airplane to clear the immigrant from me i walk very fast i run <laughs> then uh, after you take the sky train then you will need to uh, go to the immigration then after the immigration everyone cutting queue and then uh, you have to uh, make sure you for Malaysian passport you go for the visa holder I don't know why it's supposed to be visa free then uh, security screening come to baggage claim and uh, that's the duty free area right at the front and then the money changer right at the front as well so I'm going to wait for my baggage now I was waited for my luggage for very long and then the, the staff actually just dragged my luggage here so I waited extra long hour right over here so anyway uh, if you can't find your luggage come over here to uh, look for your luggage first they even though that I got the priority uh, tag they will still not come out as a priority thing so I'm going to check out the duty free then I'm going to share with you the, the tips of this flight here's the price of the tiger deal for one car then it's 40 US dollar. Okay. Let's check out the Moe Shanton. Uh, for this one, it's cost 
56 US dollar. It's a very reasonable price. So done everything. I hope uh, this video is helpful for you to uh, decide for your flight. So after I cleared the immigration, I, I saw everyone get this one, a uh, 1 gig free data uh, tourist SIM card. So you can use this uh, for your visit in Dubai. So far this flight, I will say that it's very comfortable. I have no problem at all. I think that uh, for economy flight, the seat recline. It can recline very, very good uh, distance, I mean, yeah, length. And then uh, I have a very good serest, yeah, I have a nap. And then um, although that I'm behind the baby, the baby cry a lot, but it's still acceptable to me. Not that annoying at all. Uh, the food-wise, I think that I'm too greedy. I took a lot of food and, and now I'm very, very full. Uh, no complaint so far all this flight. I think that uh, taking the Singapore Airlines economy class with the uh, A350-900 in the economy class is very comfortable. I'm very happy with this. I am also very happy that for this flight that most of the passengers is like well behaved. Toilet is very clean, all this thing. Um, you, if you uh, have time, to go back to the galley there to grab some of the snack. I had uh, one pack of the chip and then one pack of the, what they call, uh, nuts. <laughs> Um, I'm very greedy, I'm very full now. So, uh, tips for you that I think maybe that not too near to the front seat, like uh, the forward zone actually, most of the three rows there are full of baby. The last uh, bunk head also full of baby. So get the one that in between will be better. Um, slightly at the back then, the engine might be a noisy a little bit, but I will say that it could be better than uh, baby crying, right? So with that, I hope you like this video. I am going to Cairo uh, later, then I will show you the, uh, what you can expect from uh, this airport flying with uh, Egypt Airlines from uh, Dubai to Cairo. Bye-bye!